So I'm going to give you a quick run through of this Model 3 invites spreadsheet, uh, basically off Google Docs and uh, all based on user input. So this isn't being pooled data from Tesla's website. This is other reservation holders plugging in their information, filling out these charts and updating it as they get more and more information, um, which then just gets used for useful data. So the more people who are aware of this tool, the more information we'll get and the more accurate these things will become. I will have a link to this spreadsheet in the notes here. So you can just jump on that. It's kind of a long one. But anyways, it's kind of stuff you get out of here, aside from just seeing where you are compared to other people, you can get stuff like production information, just kind of pieced together. See here, end of March coming up pretty soon. Don't think we're going to make that one, but we're getting there. Invites, see the people's invites. You can see when the, uh, the emails go out, you get these surges here. Then delivery, and this will start ramping up at the end of March. You see the big push. There's only a few here, but this is going to surely explode. VIN chart, you can start seeing how we're getting up there in numbers. These are what the VIN numbers are and when they were assigned. They're still a little scattered. States, California, no big surprise. When are they in delivery so far? But they are starting to prioritize uh, East Coast and other areas other than California. And there's more. There's more how to's here and links and how to sort. So I'll give you a run through on how to do that. So if you were to come in here to this page and you want to upload your data and contribute to this, there's a link right here. You highlight that, you actually click on this doc link and it takes you to another website. And this is what you see. So in order to fill this in, you need to be signed into your email account. This way it tracks the who put the data in so you can come back later and you can update it as you get information. So there's some basic starting information you need, your username, location, state, country, and blah, blah, blah. So you fill this out and we can open up one that's already been done. We just click on, let's click somebody who's already got some information here. Click on that link. Well, click on the information and that's what you get. A lot of drop downs, sort throughs, choose your color, your wheels, autopilot or not. Uh, obviously right now it's all long range, but eventually there'll be short ranges. Any type of information like that that we find to be useful, just plug it in other notes. You hit next, and that basically just submits your data. Now if you want to go through here and manually search for your own information, you highlight this row, the the header title basically, go to data, filter views, and create a new temporary filter. And that's because this is a live spreadsheet. You are constantly activating it or updating it. And so you need to go in there and just create your own screenshot of it. And then you go in here and you see these little symbols up here where you start sorting. Let's say you wanted to sort by event assignment date, or most recent. So you see here, there's a few that were put in on the 19th. You want to narrow that down. For the while there, they weren't making uh, whites. Say, and I only want to find white VINs. Gives you whites. And you can say only within the state of, say, Arizona. And there you go. You see a lot of empty data here. So it means people have gotten their invites, configured February 22nd. These people actually probably still have their VINs. They're just starting to roll out with those ones. Let's go to select all again. There you go. Now you start seeing VIN assignments. And you can also see here when they reserved. So you see March 31st, in stores, online. Basically, they're starting to hit everybody out here. July. Uh, there's also another tab here for owner status. So if you were to say non-owners only, 
There you go. There's quite a few non-owners now that I've gotten their VINs assigned. Scheduled delivery dates. All are pretty much end of March. And it's all for white. So then you could just say select all again, turn it back on. And there you go. So you can just kind of filter this, do any other little sorting you want to do, wheels. Um, when they start adding more options, powertrain, real drive versus all-wheel drive, leather interior, colors, black, white. So main point of this is this is a very useful tool for you. And also the more people that use it and the more people that keep up to date and make sure to come back when you get more information, the better it would be for everybody else. So we really uh, appreciate this website. Google Docs spreadsheet, spread the word.